as uh, Martin Guttoy can make ground either to right or left very, very quickly. Oh, he's got that away. Fine leg, very square, and he won't stop that at all. Oh, he went, he went, he went the wrong way, didn't he? Oh, good shot. Boy, that's a good shot. We've seen a couple of straight drives in the Sinnings. One from Corinna Ratna, now one from Dulshan. 150.2 from Milne and slightly quicker and straighter from Dilshan. Amazing. That's experience as well. Dilshan from the non-striker's end would have read the pace. He's got his hands tighter, not looking to go square of the wicket. Straight, this should be four. It'll tease the fields from the whole way, but it's too quick this outfield. A, a real a real appetite for stroke play, and all of a sudden this combination of plates and bottlers. Gorgeous off drive. Oh, I think the New Zealanders have tremendously undersold. Done a disservice to this pitch. Now McCullum has to think because Dilshan is adjusting his stroke play. Oh, slashed away on the offside, and the pace means it beats third man. He had no chance. This was going to be short of the length, and he sat and waited and got it. Go! Oh, nice back cut. Just a hint of width. We've uh, talked about the fact that Nathan McCullum couldn't afford to give any width away to Dilshan. Paid the price there. <laughs> the first round of golf. <laughs> That brings up the 52 for Dulshan. 58 deliveries. Been very good from the very start. Some lovely straight drives. Been a real feature in the adjustments he's made from the first ODI. Another one of those straight drives. Again, lovely timing. It's going to run away for four. Good hand. Oh, don't know. Joe Wardner was onto it. Short. That's brilliant timing. Back to back boundaries for Dilshan. He just helped it on its way, really. Fast hands. Short this time, and even better timing. Third boundary in the over. Just made that lovely cracking sound when he hit it. In front of square. Well, in front of square. No one there. Couldn't get it high enough will create the issues to play the shot. He's, he's building the innings here. Building the innings in the run chase. With... Change of angle, change of result. Dilshan gets that one away through the gap for four. Loves width. Plants that front foot down and throws his hands through the line. And as we've in the power play, no one out on the offside. Like that. Half volley, punished. And we saw in that highlights package, he's been very strong down the ground, and putting away the half volleys, and then very good at the short stuff as well. And that's pretty much perfect batting. All the good length deliveries, he's looked to just move around for singles. And he's put away the bad ball. as well through the covers for four more well this is a better shot not quite a half volley but more on the top of the bounce well, it's the same result the same region just a beautifully executed cover drive once again a good asset and a good cricketer and that's even better it's wonderful hunter from Dilshan third shot in a row in these last two overs and what a brilliant hundred it's been. Yeah, the feature has been his driving all day. 116 balls. He's looked in great touch from the moment he walked out. Milne's trying to be bowl full, but he's up to the task. He just cracks it through the covers. Nathan McCallum had no chance.
Superb shot to bring up a superb 100. It means a lot to him. Oh, that's a good shot. He's hit it so far in front of square, it won't be run down. A pace in the high 140s. Closer to 150, and he just picks his spot. Whacks it away, just dismisses it, swats it away. Well, that is consummately put away. It's picked up even quicker than the previous one. The previous one that he missed was a slower ball. Just gave me the impression that this one was a slow one too, but Dilshan was waiting for it. He had all the time in the world. It was a slow off bouncer, and, and the way that he was just waiting for it shows that the balance that he has at the moment as a batsman. How good on his feet he is. Oh boy, the only one in danger there was the bowler himself. I think he knew that this one was going to be more in his half after the two that he dispatched earlier in the over. He could really get on the front foot and make his mind up early on in the piece and then just hit through the line. Young Milner's getting schooled here a little bit, isn't he? Oh, yeah. That's uh, very well bowled because on the back of two slower balls wasn't as quick just 132 k's but right at Dilshan's throat had nowhere to go whereas Milne was quicker but just outside the line of the body wonderful knock for Tilkrat and Dilshan 116 Sri Lanka 237 for four